Hello, today we're going to be going over how to block yourself from Google Analytics. This is in the tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress, and eMarketing tutorials to give you the keys to our presence, put you in the fast link to success. Plenty more on our website, which I'm showing here, since um, we don't need to be on the tutorial site. Uh, this is where you can see all the different tutorials that we have. Uh, you can sign up for our, our weekly newsletter that will tell you about new tutorials, um, or you can just subscribe to the YouTube channel. With that, we'll get started. You know, it's very useful to be able to block yourself from um, the analytics, just so you can get a little bit more accurate uh, number on time on site, number of hits. Uh, a lot of my clients all the time will say, "Well, how do we know that it's not just us hitting it a million times?" They say, "Well, you know, uh, it can tell if it's a new visit or not, if it's somebody that's been there. But if you could just block yourself altogether, then that's even, you know, that's even better." So what you're going to have to do is, first of all, you're going to have to have your site. Uh, analytics installed on your site. It's going to tell you all different things about your traffic, who they, you know, not exactly who they are, but where they are, how many, how long, all those different things. Um, if you don't have analytics on your site already, I have a tutorial below that shows you how to add it to WordPress. All right, I just put that in the video description in case you need to do that as well. So first thing you want to do is you want to be logged into your Google account. You're going to want to go to your account and hit products go to analytics. All right, once you're logged into analytics, you're going to go to admin. And once you do admin, you're going to hit um, your profile or your account. And then once you're in your account, you hit filters. All right, you can hit add new filter and filter name. So block myself is what I'll call it. All right, and then you're going to say exclude traffic from the IP address that are equal to, and then you're going to put in your IP address of your computer. All right. Uh, for security reasons, I'm not going to display my IP address on YouTube, but if you don't know your IP address, what you can do is go to the website whatismyip.com. That's whatismyip.com, and it will be a, right in the middle of the screen and big numbers it'll show your IP address and once you get that you type it in here so I'm just gonna put in some random numbers here All right. they're equal to that and then right here if you only have one website then it's just a matter of clicking on it and hitting add you know I have multiple on my list right now so I'm just putting them all in alright I want to be excluded hit save alright so invalid IP obviously that's not a real IP address but once you hit save That'll start filtering you from your analytics, and um, you will be left out of the stats so that you can get a more accurate reading on who's been visiting your website. This is another tu tutorial by Compete Now, WordPress and eMark tutorials. Give you web <laughs> the keys to your web presence, put you in fasting success. Plenty more on our website at startcompeting.com.